Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today I have another Patreon request for you, and that is how I mount and set up my slings. And we are going to be using the Blue Collar Tactical Patriot Slings for today's demonstration. So stay tuned. So first I would like to thank Blue Collar Tactical for sending out these three slings to me to check out and some of their thread protectors, AR-15 thread protectors. It looks like high quality stuff. I really like them. Uh, the slings are basic uh, non-adjustable two-point slings uh, made of a very nice nylon fabric. Um, very soft, not that very rough. Uh, slings that maybe some of you have seen before uh, these feel okay on the neck if they happen to touch you uh, things like that very flexible very nice uh, good slings so let's get this one mounted to the rifle today we're going to be using my girlfriend's rifle it's something that has been sort of a work in progress some time ago you guys may remember this had a polymer lower on it and it actually broke i put the spikes tactical lower on it and uh, i don't know what the upper is I threw one of the lights that I have reviewed in the past from Fiaci on it just so it can be used at home. It has pretty much a standard uh, stock, A2 grip, uh, flash hider, things like that, primary arms, uh, MD, uh, RGB2 on it. I do like primary arms, red dots, they're nice and affordable. But um, this does not have a sling on it, so let's get it going. So for demonstration purposes, here is the Blue Collar Tactical Coyote Sling. So you're gonna need your sling, and obviously you need your rifle. Uh, this has the standard mount on the bottom. I can't stand these, but there's no way for me to, other than to loop it around here, to mount a sling. And then on the front has a QD swivel mount. So for this process, you may want a lighter, a knife, and some electrical tape. This is to tie down any loose ends that may, tails that may stick out, a knife to cut off any extra length, and a lighter to burn the end so it doesn't fray. Now for me, I like to start at the front. Uh, I don't need to, uh, two of the keepers on it. I'll use just one for me. I'm a big dude, so all the real estate I can get with a non-adjustable sling, I need. Um, so I'll do just one, and I like to have the front as short as possible. So I'm not going to be doing much adjusting with the front. This is just going to be locked down. Loop it through. Of course, keeping the buckle out facing out the way it belongs. And there, and so what I would normally do at this point is tie this little tail down with electrical tape, overlapping some of the buckle. That way it just helps to lock the whole thing down. Now on the back side, keeping this where you, you know, the, the correct way out, I am going to first just do this, keeping it short, you want a little, a little wiggle room there, I'll do this as short as I can with a little bit of room for the the sling to move and now I'm going to just try it out on my body. So how does it fit as a necklace? Actually that fits really well. I may not even need the second buckle and to swim in and out of it it's actually a really good length for me right now. Um, that's actually that's pretty nice. Uh, on ones that I can put a QD mount in here, I would have the sling going over top of it like so, helping to pin the buttstock to my body when I have it slung instead of allowing it to you know, flop around like this. So at its, at its longest length, it appears that this is actually a good length for me. Uh, 
I can get in and out of it. I can go to retention or high port. I can swim in and out. Yeah, that's not bad. That's actually, that's not bad at its longest length for me. Now, if you're a smaller guy, you may want to utilize two buckles. Uh, maybe, maybe not. But uh, either way, at, this is the point at which I find my adjustment. I don't do it at the front. Now for me, I don't do it at the front because on my rifles, I have adjustable slings and I want as much pull adjustment as possible. So I don't want to shorten that pull length by pulling the adjustment, you know, the, the actual buckle adjustment here, through here, shortening my pull length of my adjustable sling. I'll do all the adjusting up through here. The one thing I don't want is I don't want these buckles, like I said, I put a little slack in here. I don't want these buckles interfering with the butt pad. So it's going to have the buckle out away from or tucked in far enough that when it flips over or happens to go anywhere near that, that I'm not shouldering the rifle on one of the buckles so between having the buckle between me and the stock itself so since this is not my rifle i'm not going to keep it in this configuration so i'm not going to tape it up otherwise i would um, i'll wait and see if i can get this fitted to her and then do that process of taping up the ends cutting it if i need to and things like that now there are lots of different ways to mount the sling i have the qd mounts there are other hk mounts and, and hook mounts and things like that and even mounts that are that are for a uh, little bits of pair cord things like that any mount that you use I generally adjust the length of the sling the same way again I'd like to thank blue collar tactical for supplying the slings today uh, if you're in the market for a budget USA made by the way uh, fixed two-point sling comes in a couple different colors I have the black the OD green and the coyote as well as muzzle nuts or thread protectors for your rifles I suggest checking out blue collar tactical I'll put a link to his website below again this is a patreon request so thank you for the request and speaking of patreon it is the easiest way to support my channel if you are a member of Patreon, not only do you get direct lines to me, uh, you get special videos that are Patreon only, unboxings, you get look aheads, you get future videos, you know, previews of future videos, as well as extra entries into any giveaway that I have coming up, which by the way, I have another, another giveaway coming up very soon. Thank you to all my patrons. You guys are awesome. I couldn't do this without you, especially since YouTube is screwing with my channel. Anybody out there that thinks I've earned it, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Help me beat that YouTube algorithm that keeps pushing my channel down. Other ways to support the channel are down below with affiliate links and things like that. You can also go to the website and become a subscriber to the website and you will get deal emails. You will also get any emails of future articles that I may write. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell for future videos. And we'll talk to all of you later.